we're going to remove the air out of fuel system on New Holland tractor equipped with the Shiba Ura N844L diesel engine. Step number one, top it up your fuel tank with a fresh diesel. More fuel you have in the tank, faster and easier you can get rid of that air in a fuel system. I'll show you everything in details, how I do it. Without further ado, let's get started. Next, make sure your fuel shutoff valve is open, allowing fuel flow into the filter bowl. As you can see, we're slowly getting fuel coming down. It is gravity feed because our fuel tank is higher. And yeah, as you can see, fuel is coming up. We have to get that air pushed into the injection pump and get rid of it through the screw. Let's crack the fuel bleeder screw at the front of the injection pump. Just a couple turns, placing a paper towel to catch the diesel, what will spill out. Take a second to subscribe to the channel, very appreciated that. Okay, now we have our towel ready. As you can see, our fuel shutoff valve is open and that fuel bowl is full of diesel. Okay, now let's push our throttle regulator all the way to the max. It will allow more fuel go through the system. We're in neutral and parking brake applied. Turn key to the on position and let's crank it. I'm cranking my tractor. As you can see, nothing is coming. We're waiting for fuel to show up. Shut it off. Crank it for 10-15 seconds. Let tractor to rest and repeat it again as you can see fuel is slowly sipping out and we're watching for a solid stream of fuel no bubbles that's why we have a fuel inside the injection pump let's do one more time crank it again i let start it to rest for a minute while cranking for 15 20 seconds we're almost there, let's give another try, crank it until we see the solid stream of fuel, as you can see a little bit air bubbles are coming out and now it's all just the fuel, that's what you want to have, no air and we have a all fuel pushed up to the injector pump, let's tie up our bleeder screw, here we go, make sure it's tight. No air will get in and fuel spilled out. All right, next I'm going to crack the injectors. So you can see those lines using 17 mil wrench. I'm only cracking three of them. That's enough. It's a little bit hard to get to the injector number four. Three cracked injectors will let air go through easier and whatever will be left will get pushed to the return line. Let's crank it again. Same as we did with the bleeding injection pump, you see the air bubbles are coming out. We're purging our fuel system. Let start it to rest for a minute. Okay, let's do it again. You can see more and more fuel are spitting out. Okay. Yeah, if this video is helpful, informational, interesting to watch, informative, to the thumbs up. Thank you so much for doing that. Right, good enough. Let's start it to rest. We almost bleeded air from the injectors. All right, I have three injectors tied it up. Only an injector number one is slightly cracked. That will help us to fire it up the diesel to build up a pressure. Okay, let's uh, crank it over again. Now the tractor should start. We'll be able to build up a pressure. Shut it off. Good. Engine fired up. Rest of the air will get pushed through the system, through the return line, back into the tank. Let's close this injector and start a tractor again. See how it's running. No misfiring. And going checking for leaks. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, critics, suggestions, recommendations, put everything down in the comment section below. This video is only for demonstration how I do it. It works for me. Yeah, 
thank you so much for your time <laughs> watching this video by the way Shiba Ura N 844L is the same as the Perkins 404D-22 yeah similar I have a few more interesting useful New Holland TC45 repair videos I'll put them down in the description below part over there and if you are interested go and watch those ones yeah well take care everybody and see you next one bye bye